Hello everybody and welcome to the 2019 edition of the W. Mason Coaches Report. I'm Rachel Vogel here with head softball coach Jay Miller in his first season with the Pride. Um, coach, how's the team been looking so far? Well, uh, you know, practice has been going well. Uh, you know, we've been inside uh, all the time, haven't been on dirt yet. So uh, we're excited to get down south and get out on the field and actually see what we have a little bit. So uh, uh, everybody's anxious to get going and, uh, you know, we're where we need to be right now. And I'm sure the team is very giddy, as you said, haven't gotten out on dirt so far this year. We've had some rough weather in the Northeast, especially this week. How, how excited is the team to start the season? Well, I mean, they're chomping at the bit, which is, which is where you want them uh, when you start the season. Uh, but they're very excited to get going. And, uh, you know, we've got uh, so many young kids, so many new faces who have no clue what they're getting into yet. So uh, it's a fun time. So um, anybody who reads your resume has seen that you've been at a number of schools during your coaching tenure. You've met 1,000 players, a million coaches. But what do you look forward to most about the season? And what do you look forward to most about being the head coach of the softball program here at Hofstra? Well, you're always excited at the beginning of a year and beginning of the season because, you know, the potential is unlimited and, and, uh, and you've got uh, such, uh, you know, such a great group of kids, really, uh, hardworking kids that uh, have developed and grown since last fall. Uh, and, and you want to get out and compete against somebody else and, and, and test yourself uh, and test your ball club to sort of see where they stand up. So we're at that point right now and, and it's a fun time to be. Uh, and also a little scary with uh, you know, we don't have much experience coming back uh, uh, especially on the mound so uh, it's a uh, it's going to be an interesting time for us this first week so you kind of stole the question right out of my mouth <laughs> uh, it's 11 freshmen on the roster this year um, it, it is no secret that a pride may lack some experience but they do come from some pretty great high school programs they've had great high school careers but how have they adjusted so far to the college life in general the collegiate softball life all of the above? You know, very well. I mean, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's tax, uh, taxing our budget a little bit, uh, you know, having to buy a lot of diapers and formula. Uh, but other than that, you know, uh, it, it's been uh, a good group to work with. They've been real, real, real receptive. Uh, they've been uh, very hard workers. Uh, they improve every day. Uh, but the, the thing they haven't done yet has been through a season. And uh, they don't know what to expect uh, with that. And so that's going to be a learning curve. And, and how quickly they adjust that learning curve will be a, a big factor in how successful we are. So you mentioned two freshman pitchers in the circle this year. What strength, what have their strengths been so far? And what do you think that they will have to do to rise to the challenges they face this year? Well, you know, the, the challenge will be they're going to get hit uh, harder than they've ever gotten hit before. And they're not used to that. So it's a matter of dealing with adversity and, and dealing with failure, you know, not only for our pitchers but but for every for our hitters as well. So you're you're moving up at a whole different level, and how quickly you can adjust will determine how quickly uh, you know how successful you're going to be. So we look for them to do their job, get hitters out, and give our defense a chance to make plays behind them. So so that's sort of what we're looking for. Uh, you know, they're very different styles. You know, Maddie, uh, Maddie has very excellent control, moves the ball real well. Kenzie throws a little bit harder uh, and uh, it makes it a little bit tougher to hit. Uh, so they, they complement each other real well. Uh, and I think it, it'll give us a, a good mix, really, that we can, you know, show another team. That's always key. Um, in addition to the 11 freshmen and one transfer and Alexa Corbin, um, we have a couple key returners um, from last year, two starters, Kristen Hallam and Courtney Scarpato. Uh, Lydia Wachowski is uh, another senior on the team who's been a great leader. What does it mean to have that type of leadership for so many freshmen? Well, there are kids that have been through the, the wars and they, and they know what to expect. So uh, we expect a lot of, of um, leadership and a lot of maturity from them. Uh, and they provide that with the, for the freshmen. So I think that it's very helpful in terms of uh, getting over over problems and getting over the hump when, when you when you struggle. And every team struggles, you know. Every team in the country struggles. So it's it's a matter of do you have the leadership to get through those struggles uh, without destroying your team in the process. So uh, you know we, we don't have a lot of upperclassmen, but but the ones we do are, are real strong. 
are great leaders and, and great role models for the young kids. Great coach. So uh, the Pride will head to Clearwater tomorrow morning for four games. Um, three of the four teams nationally ranked with the fourth receiving votes. You'll play Kentucky on Friday, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State on Saturday, and Utah on Sunday. What does it mean for your team to play such high profile teams and what learning experiences do you think your team will take away this weekend? Well, it gives us an opportunity right off the bat to see where we stand nationally. You know, Oklahoma's ranked second in the nation, you know, and, and uh, you know, everybody else is ranked, uh, and Utah's getting votes, so uh, we can compare ourselves right off the bat where we are. Uh, you know, that's, that's obviously where we want to be and where we want to get to at the end of the year. So what's the competitive level that we need to achieve to get to that end result, you know, which is a World Series? So obviously uh, it gives us a, an opportunity right off the bat to see where we are, see what we have to work on, uh, and where we need to go from here. Great, Coach. Well, uh, the Pride is back in action for the first time this season. Uh, they'll see the dirt, like you said, on Flo Clearwater, Florida for the St. Pete Clearwater Elite Invitational. That starts Friday against Kentucky, and then two more games on Saturday and another one on Sunday. Coach, thanks for joining me today. All right, and thanks Good luck very in much. Florida. Thank you.